everyone, I'm Dr. Fujan Zane, and I am so excited to be with Sister Dr. Jenna. Uh, she is the founder of um, Brahma Kumaras uh, Meditation Museum, and um, she is the host of America Meditating Radio. And she's with us um, to give us the jewel of her wisdom and meditation um, for me, and then for me to share it with all of you. Um, and today, um, I was going to ask you for a favor of the, um, the essence of protection. And I have heard you before and I loved it. And I want to share that mm -hmm. with all of my audience. Okay, lovely. Well, let's go for it and see how it turns out. You know, a lot of times when I sit for meditation, I generally start with where I am. And many of you who know me very well, I tend to be as authentic as possible. So I don't necessarily always do well like if I'm just this it's like I have to start with where I am and that's what I teach individuals to do to start where you are because your most truthful part of yourself will emerge in your meditations of course when you get supporting tools from various um, teachers that guide you in meditation it's helpful but I do do um, urge you to get into the practice, to really check where you are currently in your life, what thoughts and feelings, what are the circumstances that are surrounding you, and then just ask, how am I feeling right now? And that will begin to stir the real dialogue that you need to be having with self, okay? All right, so in terms of, um, I like to position the divine meditation um, comes because I'm not so fully attached to all my labels. And there are two forms of divine meditation that I'd like to do, but this one I feel is very important for the particular times that we're in. When I'm attached to my name, gender, role, religion, it does create some fear if systems, circumstances, society, or relationship tries to challenge me that it might take all of those away from me. I might lose my religion, I might lose my money, I might lose my status, I might lose my looks as I get older. And those can impact the way the soul feels about itself. So what if we turned that energy of consciousness around? And my primary focal point is to really get into the acceptance and the beauty of understanding. The energy of the soul is what radiates my beauty through my eyes, through my through my mouth, through my body, through my religion, through my titles? What if I'm able to bring the energy of light and the energy of, of uh, dignity, spiritual dignity and spiritual honor into the roles that I play? Then I will feel like I am protected. The reason why we will feel protected is that when you live from inside out, you live from a place of eternity. You live from a place of power and truth. You live from a place of infinity because the energy of the soul can never die. It can never be burnt. It can never be stripped. It can never go through that sort of a physical experience that we go through when we feel like our license is taken away from us, our partner has left us, our money has been lost, okay? So, I just want you to flip, just turn around your consciousness for a little and take a deep breath in and out. Breathe in and out a few times. And as you breathe in and out and start to relax, I meditate with eyes open, but it's up to you. You can gently close the more, just as if you're daydreaming. And the reason why open-eyed meditation is so important, again, as I've stressed in previous meditations, is that you're in control of what you choose to think and feel while you're with people, while you're engaged in actions. You can still choose how you wish to receive or perceive the situation. It always means the soul's qualities and virtues, they are in charge, not the events of the outside world. All right, so with your eyes gently opened, you've taken your deep breath. I just wanted to say how beautiful that was. I just wanted to <laughs> acknowledge that, how important of a skill that is to be able yeah. to be with the present moment and others 
while you are so in management of where the state of being you need to be internally to um, to interact with the world as is. So thank you for that. And I think that's what we need more of. Um, you know, when I was a young girl in my teenage years, I've often thought when people meditate, they kept closing their eyes. And so you always felt like you could only meditate with eyes closed. So people would always tell me, I don't have time to meditate. So as I was maturing and growing and understanding there are different ways of meditation, I really adapted to, I want to be in control of how I think and see things with my eyes wide open in the world. And maybe that's why I have preferred Raja Yoga meditation so much. So let's dive into this experience of um, breaking away from labels so I can feel a sense of protection. And just travel with me. This one is going to be a little slow and easy, maybe a little bit long. So just appreciate that the experience you're going to attain will be very lasting. So one more time, take a deep breath in and breathe out. And during this crisis that we're in or during this moment in history, the fear is overwhelming and so is the anxiety because a lot of the things that we have believed in are now being tested by the mere fact that they might be taken away from us or I might be losing them. And that makes us so feel fearful. So we're flipping around the consciousness for a moment and we're going to be working from inside out. I can lose money, but I can also gain it back. I can lose a person, but I can find someone back. I can lose weight, but I can also gain it back. But when I lose time, I can't gain that back. So each thought that you have is connected to time. So what if you chose to simply decide to let go of your attachment to the way your name sounds and the karmic energy that travels with your name? that whenever people call you by your name, there's a particular feeling that comes over you. Let that go for a little and observe the experience very easily, very gently. Breathe it in and exhale. And think about what it's like to let go of the attachment to your gender. You think like a woman because you look in the mirror and you see a woman. You think like a man because you look in the mirror and see a man. What if you just chose to look in the mirror and see a soul, a sparkling light? You're not your gender. Observe the feeling. Let go of your attachment to your role that you play your titles. If you're a doctor and somebody gives you a malpractice, it could be devastating. So just let go of your title. You're not your title. You're not your role. Observe how that feels. Breathe that in. Let it out. Can you imagine you're no longer a mother, a father, a sister, a brother, the owner of a business? An American, Persian, European, black, white. Let go of all of that attachment. Let go of the nationality. Let go of the race. Let go of even your religion. And just for a little bit, if you have no name, gender, role, title, religion, race, as an attachment, in the way you frame who you think you are. Don't you feel a deep sense of protection? Because nothing can harm you. You're in your mode of um, eternity, immortality. You're present. And in this awareness, you would feel God's energy 
gently hovering over you, constantly protecting and guiding and empowering you because energy connects to energy. When it's high, elevated, and powerful, they connect and it just becomes one. So breathe that in for a little bit. Inhale. What you're feeling. Just exhale. Allow the way you feel being unattached to become a very natural vibration so you can be at a party, you can be in a car, you can be in a meeting, you can be isolated. You'll have the same feeling. Breathe in deeply and exhale again. Breathe in deeply, exhale again. You will always feel a great sense of protection when you walk around being non-attached. You will always feel a deep sense of protection when you walk around feeling love and loved and lovable. So the energy of love has no boundaries. Attachment does. The energy of love has no limits. Attachment does. So the more we break the attachment to these limited perceptions of ourselves, the more our energy of the soul, the energy behind our eyes gets expanded. So again, as I told you, when you're meditating with your eyes opened and walking and moving around, you're contemplating these higher thoughts. And so wherever you go, you're spreading the fragrance of that vibration into the atmosphere and into these relationships. So I hope you all enjoyed that very simple, easy meditation for for your deepening of your own personal protection as a soul. Forget the human dimension. It's the soul that we wish to protect. So these quality of thoughts will keep your soul feeling safe and protected. Thank you, Pujan. Thank you so much. Um, For all of you, please stay tuned for more meditation from Sister Dr. Jenna. Thank you.